right guys welcome back to andy's dinosaur reviews and today we have the final of the newest round of schleich 2022 releases this is the one that has evaded me the longest and we now have it here to take a look at it is the majungasaurus and funny enough on top of being the one that evaded me the longest it was the one i was probably most excited about because i love majungasaurus there just aren't enough majungasaurus figures out there so when schleich had announced that they were going to be releasing one i was beyond excited about it and i can say that here in hand it is a really, really nice looking sculpt. Like the sculpt is gorgeous on this Majungasaurus. And the paint job is unique and really cool, but it's not quite my favorite part of the figure. Originally, I was really, you know, anticipating this release, and I actually quite like the paint job of it on the original promotional images. But here in hand, I mean, it's still really nice. It definitely looks fun. But there's one area specifically that I'm not a huge fan of, and that's the fact that the teeth are for some reason painted with a black. I feel like that's a little bit weird. It should have been maybe like black on the inside of the mouth and then painted with a white for the teeth. But uh, I'm not really sure why they painted the teeth black. And I don't think the teeth were painted black in the promotional images either, from what I can recall. I could be wrong, but I don't believe they were. But aside from that, you know, it looks okay. It's kind of like an ode to the dinosaur king version of the majungasaurus because it looks really similar to that one so it's really cool kind of a schleich to create more of like a highly detailed version of that majungasaurus i felt like that was definitely pretty fun although i'm not like a huge fan of dinosaur king never really watched it or really got into that at all until i started to purchase their figures i really am a big fan of the figures but uh, I don't really know too much in general about Dinosaur King, but I can definitely tell you that the paint scheme of this Majungasaurus 100% had to have been inspired by that. But let's go ahead, jump straight to a closer look at this right now. So starting up here at the head sculpt of the Majungasaurus, you can see the skin texture is phenomenal, honestly. And you can also see the like detailing from the face to the back of the head changes quite nicely. Like you have a really cool skin textured appearance up here, but then you have kind of like a larger scaly type look there for the back of the head. And I think that looks really neat. Some fairly nice looking detail there around the eye. You have a yellow coloration and a black pupil for the eye. You have that trademark kind of a uh, horn up here on the top of the head of the Majungasaurus. And I think that looks really quite nice. I like how the black kind of encases the horn and then stripes down here over the eye down into the face. Nice placement for that color. We have some beautiful tones of color here as well as you have like a nice light gray. But you have a bit of a darker gray that's kind of been washed with it. And I think that majority of the figure kind of sports that darker gray. So it sort of adds some nice coloration to it. A little bit of skin tone that looks, you know, a little bit different. And uh, I really do quite like the fact that they've added that in there. You can see the nostrils right there. You can also see the inside of the mouth has a very bright red tongue. Also some light pinks in there as well. And you can see that for the upper side. Also seems to have that dark wash in there, even though it's not all that easy to get in there to show you. But you can see the nice coloration that's included as well as some pretty nice looking sculpt and detail. But again, you can see that the teeth, although sculpted nicely, do have for some reason like a black coloration for the teeth. I don't know why they did that, and uh, I honestly feel like maybe repainting that area just to kind of touch it up a little bit more from my preference. Some people might like that, but personally, I uh, usually like to have my teeth on the figures a little bit more of like a whiter tone of color. But you can see, again, we have a yellow eye and a black pupil over here. All of the sculpting and detailing looks fantastic, and all of the paintwork also looks pretty nice. I honestly want to buy another one of these and repaint it a little bit just because I feel like the sculpt is so good and you can't really judge how nice the sculpt is because of the paintwork that's on this and although the paintwork looks cool that we have here on it I just feel like a, a little bit more of a natural coloration could look really really nice on this figure I'm not sure why I just really feel like I need to repaint one of these you can see a little bit of hanging skin here in the throat as well as kind of like some ridges here hanging off of the throat as you move through you have kind of like some osteoderms and stuff that run pretty much the entire course of the figure you can also see some ridges running along the spinal column as well and we continue to kind of trade back and forth when it comes to the color between the variations of grays and the black striping that kind of reddish color the black striping the grays and it's you know follows that same trend through the entire course of the figure as you move down you can see the shoulder blade there protruding from the skin a little bit some more of those osteoderms and some more fantastic 
graphic scale detail throughout. You can see quite a bit of movement in general shown in the sculpt of the figure. Like you can see a lot going on with the skin and the way it's kind of bending and stretching. And it really, really looks awesome as far as that goes. As you move down here into the arms, you can see some more really nice skin detail as well as a pretty nice looking hand sculpt. The nails are painted with a black, but the only problem with this is the arms are a bit too long, first of all. But the uh, arms are also really stiff for some reason, like sticking straight down. I would have really preferred them to be kind of held into the body in a little bit more of a natural way rather than just hanging so stiff and straight down, but that's not the end of the world. As you move up here, you can see the skin reacting to the thigh, pushing into the stomach right there, really nicely bunching and wrinkling the skin up. Again, we have lots of fantastic scale detail throughout as you move through the figure. Definitely has been given that really nice grayish wash. You can really see it right there. And uh, again, more of the osteoderms and stuff throughout. Lots of skin wrinkling here and stretching off of the tail because that leg is stepping forward, really stretching that skin. And the muscle definitely definition is beautiful here on the thigh as well and then you lead down you've got the kneecap there in the front of the leg some more really nice skin texture as well as the calf muscle there in the back of the leg and then moving down into the foot sculpt really bird-like foot sculpt nice scoots down the course of the toes you also have some nice scale detail down there you can see the dew claw is present there on the opposing foot and you have a black coloration for the nail paint doesn't appear to have a gloss coat or anything to it, but it looks pretty nice. And then as you lead up here into the tail, you can again see how the skin is stretching off of the tail. You also have some kind of like skin wrinkling and stuff here running along the underside. Some more fantastic scale detail throughout. And then you continue to have that kind of striping effect, although it only kind of runs down halfway through the tail before cutting off pretty abruptly there in the tail. But as you move out the length of the tail, you can see a really nice wavy curve for the tail like absolutely about as wavy as it gets and it looks pretty cool definitely adds a really nice uh, appeal factor I think to the figure with the nice looking curve in the tail and then over here on the opposing side you can see that the Majungasaurus kind of has its head tilted a little bit so it almost looks like maybe it's trying to look up at something slightly there you can definitely see that it has a bit of a tilt in the head looking up and uh, you can see that detail wise though everything looks fairly similar over here compared to what we saw on the previous side lots of skin wrinkles here in the throat region of the dinosaur just tons of kind of hanging skin and skin wrinkles over there you can see that we continue to have that kind of you know striping effect for the majority of the figure very dinosaur king like and you can see the shoulder blade a little bit over here again and the grayish wash really highlights the detail even in the red areas you can see the detail popping thanks to that grayish wash we yet again have that really stiff arm but it's in a slightly different position compared to the opposing side and then leading up here into the stomach you can see a little bit more of the stomach because this leg is trailing slightly you can kind of see the skin stretching off of the stomach right there but you can see how gorgeous the skin detail is there in the stomach region the hip bone is present back here as you move down you can see the thigh but you don't see as much skin stretching or anything off of the tail like we saw on the opposing side because of course this leg is trailing it's not stretching that skin so very nice attention to detail on the part of Schleich and then as you move down again you've got the kneecap the calf muscle which isn't overly bulging and it really shouldn't be on this foot because this foot looks like it's about to be stepping and lifting off the ground so it wouldn't be quite as tensed as you would probably see on the opposing side again very bird-like foot sculpt down here with the nice scoots down the toes the dark wash is present even on the foot but not quite as present as what we see up there on the top but it's there and it looks pretty good as far as the highlighting of the detail goes just not quite like what we see up here and then as you lead out the length of the tail again you can see more of that really nice skin detail some more of that pretty cool paintwork and that beautiful curve in the tail the underside as well you can really see first of all if we get this tag out of the way but you can really see that grayish wash down here on the underside as well as the again nice skin detail that has been sculpted out skin wrinkles and stuff and fantastic scale detail so the sculpt is fantastic in my opinion on this majunga source it also has a really impressive size which is really cool as well and although the paint job isn't my favorite thing in the world it is a really cool ode to the dinosaur king version of the majunga source and we also have a really flashy and unique look to the coloration of the majunga source so definitely a memorable figure even if you're not a huge fan of the paint scheme, it's definitely one that you're going to remember because it's so unique. As far as articulation goes, we do have an articulated jaw, which works really nicely. You can see we can open it and close it at different positions. Definitely works really smoothly, but that's as far as it gets when it comes to articulation on this figure. As far as a size goes for a length, 
from the tail to the snout about nine and a half inches or around the 24 centimeter area for height to the top of the head you are looking at a little over four and a quarter inches or 11 centimeters the tail is far taller don't even know if i can get it in frame right now about six and a quarter inches or 16 centimeters roughly and you can also see that the figure balances really nicely you can see if i push it there it'll wobble but it stays standing beautifully so they did a good job kind of spreading the toes apart to make sure that it balances nicely but as far as the size comparison goes there is the schleich giganotosaurus next to our majungasaurus this is a pretty popular figure from schleich so i would like to think you probably have a pretty good idea as far as the size goes next to this one just because so many people have that Giganotosaurus, but if not for another comparison, there is everyone's favorite Schleich figure, the Acrocanthosaurus, and you can definitely see again size-wise, it's a bit smaller than the Acrocanthosaurus when it comes to height, unless you consider the height of the tail, but it's kind of a fairly similar size, I would say, to that figure. For another comparison, we have the Schleich T-Rex next to the Majungasaurus, and you can definitely see the Rex is a bit bigger, but it's not too far off, I would say, as far as the size goes. The Majungasaurus is definitely, uh, I would say, like a fairly large figure, honestly. I would say if it's anything, it's a really close toss-up between a fairly large medium size or a smaller large figure. And then for one final comparison, here is another brand new 2022 release from Schleich with the Nothosaurus next to our Majungasaurus. Again, if you happen to have the Nothosaurus but not the Majungasaurus, then hopefully this comparison will help you out. So this brand new 2022 Majungasaurus from Schleich is definitely another awesome release from them and one that I am really psyched to add to my collection because we just have so few Majungasaurus figures out there from anyone. It is incredibly cool to finally have one here that's so nice, so nicely sized, gorgeous sculpt and uh, very unique paint job. So I'm really psyched in general to you know have a fairly nice looking Majungasaurus here. The sculpt is really beautiful. As always, when it comes to a Schleich sculpt, it is overloaded with detail. And honestly, I don't know that it could get any higher detail-wise than what we see here. Because they have pretty much covered every ounce of detail, whether it's like skin folding, stretching, or like the really nice scale detail. Just everything is fantastic detail-wise. The only thing sculpt-wise I'm not a huge fan of of the figure is the stiff arms i feel like they could have been held into the body in a little bit more of a natural way and of course been a bit smaller but outside of that i think the sculpt is great the paint job as well looks really cool it's very unique again a throwback to the dinosaur king version which everyone that was a fan of dinosaur king will absolutely eat up and love is the fact that this has that look to it and i do as well like it i think it looks really cool and it's nicely applied for the most part like it looks pretty nice and natural on the figure I personally do want to repaint one of these again just to kind of see what it looks like with a different coloration because I feel like the sculpt is beautiful but some of the paint like mostly the black I think just kind of shines some of the detail away and maybe there's just a little bit too much going on I think color wise to really be able to pay attention to how nice the detail is I'm not really sure what it is about it but I'm just like absolutely aching to repaint one of these so I'm definitely going to have to pick up another one and get uh, a repaint up of this Majungasaurus. But even still with the paint job that Schleich has given us here, it's again very cool, very unique, nicely applied. The dark wash helps to highlight the detail through the entire course of the figure. And again, Dinosaur King fans everywhere will rejoice at the release of this Majungasaurus, I would imagine. So if you are interested in picking this up, I will include a link in the description to the Schleich website where you can head on over there and purchase yourself this very cool Majungasaurus for yourself. So make sure you do that and make sure you also like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.